The term boogie referred specifically to the dance and not the music. I want everybody to do a boogie-woogie, instructed Pine Top Smith. Boogie here is a dance term. It can also be used as a sexual euphemism, but I feel this is essentially a parallel extension derived from the body movements of the dance. Its origin is obscure. Dictionary definitions are inconsistent. Negro performer, the devil, all troubles in life. Many stem from an assumed corruption of bogey, as in bogeyman, and all I think are unconvincing. There's little real evidence, but remembering it as a dance, I offer a personal opinion that I think perhaps more probable. Southern country dance music contains several vocal instructions, which are corruptions from the French of the early colonists, the most obvious being the white square dance called promenade, as in promenade around the hall, from the French promenade. Another is do si do, a patent corruption of do sa do, back to back, in the blues, we find doing the Sally Long, not, as I've seen suggested, the name of some long-forgotten folk heroine, but rather, I feel, derived from the French S apostrophe Allez Long, Sir Allez Long, Sally Long, to move oneself along. With this in mind, couldn't Boogie, with its background of dance, be yet another corruption, this time from the French Bouger, to stir, to move? Early references can be found to the phrase pitcher boogie, meaning to throw a party, to dance. And here's a splendid recording made in 1929 by the early southern pianist Willie Zerl. He's accompanied here on a very hunter-recorded cornet by Baby J, with the Graves Brothers on guitar and tambourine. In his spirited version of a dance theme similar to Pine Top's, 
Pitching Boogie. Now look here, girl, sang Willie Zoy in his pitching boogie. Put on your best dress. Go see who can pitch the boogie woogie the best. This is a clear example of the definition of boogie as a dance term. <laughs> 